Hi and welcome to the family service at Whitham United Reformed Church. My name is Viv. I wonder, have you ever been in a fight? Or had a really big argument with somebody? I wonder, have you ever felt absolutely furious about something or at someone and felt rage about what you felt was unfair treatment. Well, our story today has all of that in it, but it also has the solution to feeling the rage and the crossness about something. So join me in the next section when we're going to look at our story and find out what this session is all about. Let's have a look and see what is in our box today. Are you ready to count down with me? Three, two, one. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got quite a lot of things to help us set up the story today. So, I think we might be in a sort of deserty region. One, where there's some mountains about and some places that might be quite good for hiding. We've also got a house. It has columns outside it, so I wonder if it belongs to somebody quite important. This is David. He is a friend of God and one day he will be king of God's people. But at the moment he is in trouble and the man who is king just now he goes by the name of Saul, is out to get him. David and his men are travelling from place to place to stay safe. In this story, they are in the desert of Maon. I wonder if they hide up inside the mountainous areas, in the caves to keep safe. This man is Nabal. He is very, very rich and he is an important man in the area where David is just now. He is also very grumpy and rather mean. This is Abigail. She is Nabal's wife. She is very beautiful, intelligent and kind. David's men were hungry. So David sent some messages to Nabal to ask if he could give them something to eat. David's men had always been kind to Nabal's men, so David thought Nabal might help them. But Nabal didn't want to be kind to David. He said he'd never heard of him and he didn't see why he should give them anything at all. And he sent David's men away. David's men went back to him and they told him what Nabal had said. David was absolutely furious. He was so cross. He told his men to put on their swords and to get ready. They were going to fight Nabal. But one of Nabal's servants was worried about how Nabal had spoken to the messengers. He knew that there was going to be a big fight if he didn't do something. So he went to go and see Abigail and he told her everything that had happened. 
Abigail realised that they were in big trouble. So, she packed up 200 loaves of bread, 200, two enormous bottles of wine, five roasted sheep, lots and lots of grain, and a hundred cakes of raisins and 200 cakes of figs and loaded it all into the donkeys. Abigail took her horse and she went out to meet David. As Abigail rode along on her donkey, she came around a corner and she bumped into David and his men. They were looking very fierce. Abigail got off her donkey and lay down with her face to the floor. She said to David, please don't pay any attention to that silly Nabal. Don't get into a big fight. He's just not worth it. Please accept all this food I have brought for you and your men. David was so glad that Abigail had come. He didn't really want to get into a fight. So he took the food and he and his men went back to the desert. When Abigail got home, she told Nabal what had happened and he was so cross and shocked that he fell down. just like that. When David heard that Nabal was dead, he sent a message to Abigail asking him to marry her. And so she did. I wonder what part of the story you liked best. I wonder what part of the story was the most important? I wonder where you are in the story. I wonder what part of the story we could leave out and still have all the story we need. Hi, my name is Abby and I'm going to be reading James chapter three verses 17 to 18. But the wisdom that comes from God is like this. First, it is pure. Then it is also peaceful, gentle, and easy to please. This wisdom is always ready to help those who are troubled and to do good for others. This wisdom is also fair and honest. When people work for peace in a peaceful way, they receive the good result of their right living. Abigail was really important in the story that we've just heard. She stopped a very big fight taking place and she made peace because she actively went out and did something about it. I wonder what are some of the things that God made us to be? Well, one of the things God made us to be is to be people who bring peace. What does peace mean? Being peaceful can mean being quiet and calm, or it can mean not fighting with other people or stopping other people fighting with one another. Sometimes it can also mean standing up for what we know is right so other people can experience peace. Or we have to be a voice for others to help them find peace. Like the Bible verse says, and like Abigail did in our story, we are to bring peace into situations to try and make them right. I wonder how you can be a peacemaker. I wonder how I can be a peacemaker. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for all that you are. 
and we thank you that you can help us be peacemakers. You give us wisdom just like the Bible says. So help us in the coming weeks to bring peace into all the situations that we find ourselves in. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'll see you next week. Bye.